Hi, my name is Royce with In-Depth Utility Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to do connective locating on the VM560 line locator. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take this, uh, lay this receiver to the side. We're going to come in and take the ground rod, and we're going to try to find a, a good soil to stick it in. I like to prefer to go at a 90 degree Although in this location, I have a lot of asphalt in the way. I'm going to take the connector here, plug it up into the transmitter, set it to the And then I'm going to take the black lead and place it on the ground, connect it to the ground. red lead to the tracer wire. And then I'm going to turn the transmitter on. And now I'm going to, I have three frequencies here. I have 512, 8, and 480. Let me turn the volume down. And I'm going to cover it up so you can hear me. And so right now it's on 512 hertz. And I'm gonna, usually I find that uh, for trace wire, uh, 512 hertz can work, but if you have any kind of resistance, it may not run very well for you. I've had great success most of the time uh, using eight kilohertz. So I'm gonna switch it over to eight. And then right here, it's showing low power, but I could also select the high power of the transmitter. But I feel like on this trace wire that low power is probably going to do me a good job. So I'm going to take this transmitter and I'm going to move it out of the way. And while we're here, why do we have three different frequencies? Well, frequencies react differently in different situations. So if we have a lot of resistance on the cable or, or on a pipe, we might find that 480 kilohertz will run a lot better. Uh, but when we go to a really high frequency, the, the chances are that it could also jump off onto something else. So that would be uh, a res using 480 uh, when you're directly connected, only if you have to use it because uh, you can't get it to run in the other two lower frequencies. And what I find with the 512, a lot of times it's too low, and if there's any resistance, it doesn't like to run. Where 8K is a medium frequency, and it usually have great success with it going down the cable. So now I'm going to take the receiver, I'm going to cut it on, so it comes on, and right now it's in 60 hertz, and so I want to change that frequency to uh, 512, I, excuse me, 8 kilohertz. So I'm going to hold the target button down for about two seconds, it's going to, it's, it didn't hold it down long enough, hold it down for two seconds and it's gonna go into a frequency mode. And I can use the plus and minus keys to toggle until I can change and select the frequency I want. Now, if you notice that eight kilohertz is picking up the signal from the transmitter here, I'm gonna hit the target button. Now, now I'll have it selected. If you see down here uh, in the screen, it's selected. Now, the, the right now, the, the transmitter is putting out a lot of signal since we're really close by and the receiver is pegged out at 99. So I'm gonna hit the, the gain, and it's a semi-automatic gain, which means it will adjust about 50%, just to lower it so we have less signal coming in. So now I have less signal, and I kinda, which I know that this uh, pipe is running out toward the road, which is facing that way. But I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna lower that volume down. Now I'm putting the antenna down so it's pegged out more. So I'm gonna lower it, lower the gain down again. So about 50% signal. And I'm, I'm gonna do a, a circle or a semi-circle all the way around. So I picked up something there. Now I'm not picking up anything else. So I'm gonna walk back around. As you can 
can hear the receiver is picking up. And when I get out on the other side of this tree, I'll show you what the screen looks like. Of course, you can see that on the pavement, it's already marked. And I'm looking for the highest number. Come over here and show them the screen. And so it's going down. Now it's going back up. Now it's going down. So it appears to me that probably the one call people slightly mismarked this line by a couple of inches. So the highest, best reading is right there. Now, the gain's not all the way pegged out, so we're still good. Um, so I'm going to hit the target, and it's going to give us a depth. This unit will give us depth in either 512 or 8 kilohertz. 512 hertz or 8 kilohertz. And it's at 1 foot 9 inches. So I can pick the unit up. As the antenna gets further away from the line, it's going to have less signal coming to the receiver. Now I can walk. And as you can hear, the instrument is still picking it up. And we'll do a locate right here again. And then I can just do the process all over again. I can uh, check the depth, and it's two foot one. And if I want to know the direction, I can spin the receiver. Let me spin it this way so the camera can get a better. And when I when it goes to the lowest point, which is about right there, that's the direction that that, that tracer wire is running. Now, and then I can just walk around this vehicle and just keep walking. And this signal will go a good distance on this tracer wire. Notice I'm not swinging it like this. I'm holding the receiver pretty much straight down as I swing it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at the information in the description below.